try and recapture some of the exotic flavor of these times with this faded relic from the early days of moving pictures. texture in their work that brings to mind Horace. Nil mortalibus ardui est. No height is too arduous for mortal men. Even a model citizen can't be silenced. I like their, um, their lyrics. Maybe a few fleeting glimpses at some faded mementos, cracked and peeling photos can give us an inkling of the band's rich but bittersweet past. Trial mixed with triumph, agony with ecstasy. Their identification with culture heroes of the 60s, the mop-topped Beatles, or the ever-popular king, Elvis. Of course, they weren't always the original sloth band. They've lost count of the names used and discarded long names, short names, some simple, some downright ridiculous. People recognize us on the street. They don't know who we are, but they know that we're somebody. This hard, no-holds-barred tavern is typical of the kind of musical jungle the sloth band had to claw their way through to get what they wanted. It has taken us to a lot of cities. Whether they've been interesting and memorable is another thing. We played in, uh, we played in Wawa. We've we've hit uh, Fergus. We were really really big in Elmira. We've uh, sent, actually we're waiting. We haven't hit St. Agatha yet, but someday we will. We played in uh, Kingston. We played in uh, Ottawa. We played everywhere you can believe in Toronto. The band loves their way of life, but there are burdens to bear, and I don't just mean instruments. Hours of travel, the sinking feeling when you arrive at a dim, out of the way night spot trying to entertain a woe-begone or world-weary audience. You can find that center of joy and happiness in the wellsprings of our mind. And I'd just like to mention, next week, direct from London, Ontario, we have Mr. Buckwheat Willie P. Bennett. And right now. The Sloth Band respect the kind of music they play. It comes from a different culture and era and they respect the people who made it. And when they get a chance, they like to learn more from musicians like Sam Chapman, a member of the original Mississippi Sheiks. What were some of the musicians you played with in Memphis? I played with the Jug Band. Which one? Uh, Memphis Jug Band? Memphis Jug Band. Mm -hmm. 
That's where I used to live on North 2nd Street out there, they called it Anglewood. And I played with all the guitar pickers put near there. From, uh, I ain't never played with this booker. Yeah. Were the Beale Street Cheeks going then, or? Did yeah, it they, was, they was going. The Beale Street Cheeks, they was going. And, and we we played in, in a Memphis when, see, there was nine brothers that was played in the Gap Band together called the Mississippi Sheiks. Right. And we was the Chadman brothers when it was first started off. And then when we went to recording in the 20s, then we changed his name to the Mississippi Sheiks. Should we just end it sharp? Or just just, uh, Arranging new material for a recording session is no bed of roses. There's a lot of details to attend to. Start ending, 74B. Let's try it. Let's try it from the... Take it from the... Yeah, okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's, yeah. We gotta take it again. Okay. From there.